Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and a very good evening. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year 2022. Today I'm going to share you uh, the, one of the key functions of my Garmin Fenix 6 which is the body battery and also some of the sleep function which I used during the last uh, one week to monitor my health condition uh, especially when I went back to my hometown for holiday during Christmas okay there's something interesting which I want to share with you uh, maybe later on if you guys have uh, similar watches like Garmin uh, Phoenix series or maybe Forerunner uh, maybe this function can help uh, you monitor your health condition okay so firstly uh, what I'm showing you here what I'm showing here is the uh, uh, what we call the Garmin Connect app which you link back to your phone sorry which you link back to your watch so this is my uh, main page I've uh, sync I've synchronized uh, my Garmin Connect with my watch as you can see here what's interesting is that uh, during my last seven days when I went back to my hometown I realized that there's something interesting which I can use uh, the body battery to monitor my health conditions okay as you can see here today is the 2nd of January all right let me just show you a little bit what I'm talking about uh, as you can see here as you can see here uh, overnight I've slept uh, when I slept last night my body is recharged with 68 percent of my battery you can see there 68 point eh? If you look that, that's how my body uh, battery improves. Then it goes down when I woke up. Okay, and it's, it also shows the stress level which I encounter uh, during the day. Okay, so I went back. This is today. All right, yesterday. Uh, this is what happens. Yesterday, on the 1st of January, I did a little bit of training, workout on my uh, treadmill, uh, ran and walk briskly for about 45 minutes so you can see there during that time uh, I experienced a lot of stress okay okay during the during my sleep my body is recharged with 73 points all right to a high of 85 that it drains my body you see it says that you had a very draining day a restful night sleep is a good idea after days like this so to avoid being exhausted right that is last yesterday okay let's go to a few days before that okay that was uh, uh, yesterday uh, I went back to my hometown on the 27th of uh, December which was on Monday last Monday but the day before that let's just compare the 27th and the 26th, the day before. During the day before uh, I went back to my hometown, you can see that my body is recharged with 61 point. All right. Probably there's a good sleep, I'm, I would say. We can check that one later on. And you see the stress level uh, during the day is, I think it's a bit normal. But the, the body, my body drains by 68 points so it goes to a low of 68 during the day okay during okay just to let you know a little bit during the trip back to my hometown we had to take my wife and I had to take an early flight okay at 7 45 a.m. so we had to go to the airport a bit early around 3 a.m. in the morning so neither of us had any sleep during the night before the 27 so if I show you my sleep for the day, just to, okay, as you can see here, my body is recharged only with 32 point uh, up to 34. Let me just show you my sleep during that 27th of December. If you can see here, just bear with me for a while. Uh, look at the health stats. You can see on the 27th, okay, this today, that is on the 27th, right? Uh, just hold on. Or just uh, day by day is better sorry okay you can see the 26 I had three hours and 25 minutes of sleep okay that's my sleep pattern during the day during that day 
But on the 27, the day we had to travel, I had no sleep at all. So the, the, the watch reported nothing. You can see there. No sleep at all. Okay, that's why, as you can see, during if I compare back to the body uh, battery for that day, my body battery showed that I really did not got recharged. See? Only 32 points. Right, so the stress level adds up everything all right during the day, and uh, as there's the first day, no sleep at all, went back to my hometown, and the second day, I got some good night sleep from 60 charge, I got 78, a low of two or of six, sorry, and that's my stress during the day. On that day, I think uh, I ate some heavy dinner with my in laws, okay. On the third day at my hometown, on the 29th, I had a good night sleep as well. Recharged with 81 uh, to a top of 76. You can see there what happened on that day. On 29th, I think I went out with my two brothers. Uh, we had a heavy dinner and also some heavy eating during the day with my, my, myself and my, my wife, I think. Okay, but it was a good day, uh, quite recharged, you can see there. On the 30th, if you look again, on the 30th, there's nothing much. I was uh, basically was staying at home, all right, during the day. But I can see my body has fully recharged at that point in time, all right. So that's on the 30th. I think we, uh, that was the last day, the last full day. Uh, I had when I was at my hometown during the evening we uh, had uh, another uh, heavy I would say meal with my auntie my aunt okay that's why there's some a uh, lot of stress at the end of during towards the evening so let's go back to the day when I came back my trip back was only for four days by the way a short trip back okay I, you can see here the my body was charged quite well, up to 70 of high, uh, but by stress level, as you can see during the last day, maybe the trip, I think my trip, uh, I don't know why, it's, there's nothing there, but the, the plane ride was towards the afternoon, late afternoon, and uh, I don't know why there's no information there, but it doesn't matter. So that was two days ago, on the 31st of December, the New Year Eve. So on the first day, of January, like I mentioned earlier, I had um, some. Uh, I did a treadmill, uh, 45 minutes. I reached a. Uh, let me just show you what was the treadmill all about. Uh, maybe show something. My activity for the day. So I was running, basically. Uh, the treadmill on the first of uh, January. Yeah, I burned three, 428 calories. You can see there. All right, good start. Uh, show something. Uh, what are the statistics? Well, it is quite interesting here again. Uh, my four minutes and forty. This is straight meal, right? Uh, um, uh, four hours and four, four minutes. Sorry, four minutes and forty seconds is the best time uh, per kilometer. All right. You can see here. This is my heartbeat, my pace. Sorry, I can show you the pace together with my heartbeat. Okay, there you go. It shows that uh, during my activity, this is quite uh, cardio, more to cardio. I, I ran a little bit, I, I slow down, I run again. You can see here, you can sh I'll show you how my heartbeat changes uh, as I ran, change. I think I reached a peak about uh, 160. My 160 beats per minute somewhere here is my 95% maximum Point, I think somewhere I'm not sure maybe it's this one let me just check again how to get to that point uh, quite difficult sometimes it's quite instantaneous all right maybe I have to pull it a bit maybe uh, around around here 158 no all right around that there around the 29 minutes mark 29 36 second mark somewhere there okay sometimes it doesn't uh, show every second based on the uh, chest strap uh, heart rate monitor which I wore on that day 
So then it goes down to bed. So this was my activity for the first of during the first of January yesterday. Okay. So if you turn back here, you will be able to see what how is my heartbeat. So the, the maximum heartbeat which I reached was 160. That's about 95% of my maximum. The training effect uh, had a good aerobic, high improving uh, workout in terms of aerobic, but my anaerobic is just uh, okay, 2.2. So that is the cadence, my my foot speed. Okay, how much? How many steps did I take during uh, one minute? Okay, and then my strength length, vertical ratio. That is the difference between your how 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 how, how much you jump when you were running. All right, very important information as well. And my ground contact time is perfectly balanced between the left foot and the right foot. 50-50, exactly perfect. You can see there. All right. And lastly, at the bottom, I think this shows, okay, this also shows my respiration rate. How many breaths I took during the minute, maximum of 45, body temperature not so important. And this is the, the I think this is the most important uh, when you look at the heart rate zone, which I endured during the training. You can see there, I touched the 160, which is my 95% maximum heart rate for just one second, but most of my exercise will focus on the zone 4 you can see there the high aerobic okay and the zone 2 was quite well very important zone 2 the low aerobic about 32 percent of my time was spent there 17 minutes and 21 seconds you can see there all right so that was the trading which i did uh during yesterday the first of january and we go back to my body battery. I can see on the 1st of January, uh, that's how, that's what's happened. So I had a good sleep and whatnot. Okay, maybe I show a little bit of a sleep on that day. Uh, just, just as a reference, uh, the sleep for yesterday was on the 1st of January, uh, which was yesterday, was a good sleep. Was a good sleep, about six hours and 40 minutes. And that's the, the, the breakdown of sleep, all right? You have the movement, you can see there, the respiration and whatnot. So that was good. Uh, what else? The breakdown oh, doesn't show any much there. So this is the breakdown, sorry. Only 41 uh, minutes of RAM, uh, deep sleep for one hour and 27 minutes, light sleep for four hours plus, four and a half hours. And, uh, and uh, I was awake during my sleep time for 56 minutes. That's quite bad, actually. All right. So that's my sleep yesterday. So we, let's go back to the body uh, battery again. So basically the body battery uh, in, uh, app or rather the function does help you indicating uh, how, how stressful your day was. Okay. And what kind of, uh, uh, how much your body recharged during the daytime. I'm going to show you, I'm going to put a link down there. Somebody... Uh, uh, the, the person's name is Chase the Summit uh, channel. He showed how this body battery app uh, helped him uh, monitor his condition when he got COVID-19 during Christmas time. Okay, so that's how I got the idea of checking my, my body battery now. So this is a very good function. Uh, hopefully you guys will use this also, maybe later on. At the time, I think it's, it's good that if you, wa you wear your watch 24-7 uh, like I'm doing right now, uh, because this uh, function I'm showing you here, for example, let's, let's look at one of the functions which is quite important. Uh, uh, the health, uh, you can see here, the health stats. You got the heart rate, all right? You got the stress level, and you got the body battery. That's how you, you get everything, all the information. Very important information, the stress you had for the last four hours, for example, okay, and what happened during the uh, overnight, whether you sleep well or not, whether your sleep was effective or not, or whether it helped to recharge your energy and whatnot. So that's very important. All right, your stress, you can measure from here directly. Of course, you can link back to here, like I just showed you. So these are very important information. I think uh, this is one of the uh, functionalities which I think is very useful for those who are very concerned about their health and fitness and um, okay so that's about it i will share today of course like you have intensity training uh, intensity minutes which i have here i didn't uh, manage to reach my goal of 20 200 sorry 
for the week because I was traveling. So I only managed to get 101 hours intensive intensity minutes for 101 minutes only, not the total, uh, not the target of 200. So that's maybe I'll do better next week. Okay, that's uh, a little bit about the function about body uh, body battery the sleep function and also uh, a little bit about uh, how the, the my running the treadmill was uh, measured earlier okay if you have anything you want to ask uh, please write down below uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, following my channel uh, inshallah uh, god willing we'll meet again later on uh, bye bye